Hello YouTube, Ian559 Fresno here and I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS which is on 4.3.1 or iPad first generation. iPad second generation, this won't work. This jailbreak is untethered for 4.3.2. You're going to need to download two files. One is Redsno 0.9.6 RC14. You must use RC14 or maybe something above. But just use RC14 and you should be good. You're also going to need to download your firmware file for your device. Links will be in the description. Um, it's quite long. For the iPhone 4, the firmware file was 666 megabytes. Okay, once everything's downloaded, open up Red Snow and drag it out to your desktop. And it's been dragged, as you can see. Now you're going to open up this folder and extract Red Snow to your desktop again. If you're using Windows 7, right click on it, click properties and it might give you an option to unblock. Click that here then go to compatibility run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. If you're using Windows XP Service Pack 2 you don't have to do this. As long as you're using Windows XP you do not have to do this. Okay once you open up Red Snow it's going to ask you to click yes, just click yes, and it will say, Welcome to Red Snow, you can read that if you want, just click browse. And it's going to give you this dialog box, my firmware file is saved on my desktop, it should look something like that. Uh, click on it, see it says 4.3.2, just click open. Red Snow will be a processing it and it should say successfully identified. Okay, next thing you're going to do is go down here and click next. If you get stuck on the screen where it says patching kernel, it's because you didn't run it in compatibility mode. Okay, you're going to check mark install Cydia as that's all we need and click next. It's going to say, click next only when your device is both off and plugged in. So. You need to get your iPhone. And plug it into your computer first. Then power it off. Your computer might make a noise once it's powered off. That's good. Now you're going to go down here and click next. Steps are you're going to try to enter your iPhone into Pwn, I'm sorry, just DFU mode. So um, you're going to have to hold the power button for two seconds. And then once you hold the power button, you're going to have to hold both the power and home button for 10 seconds. After you do that, you're going to have to hold, uh, you're going to release the power button, but continue holding the home button for 15 seconds. So click next. Now you're going to hold the power button for 2 seconds. Now you're going to hold both the power and the home button. The home button is the button on the bottom of your iPhone. Continue holding it, it'll tell you when to release. Now release the power button, which is this one. Continue holding the home, which is that, for 15 seconds. It might end early. If it does, you'll it'll tell you right here. It'll start. See, started. You can release. Should say waiting for reboot. Uploading RAM disk and rebooting should see all this code, don't panic, it's just code, let it run. Red Snow will say done, you can just click finish. Leave your device plugged in, better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so it's just running some code right now. And now it's going to install Cydia and all your apps. 
Uh, here's a little warning. If you have more than, I believe it's like 10 or something apps, just uh, if you have a lot of apps, you're going to get stuck on the Apple logo after this. Uh, if that happens, you're just going to have to do a restore and start over. So just make sure your device is backed up. I'll put that in the description. Okay, it's just moving apps. Okay, now it's installing bundles. This shouldn't take long. Okay, I think it's done now. It's going to power up by itself. So if you have a lot of apps, you're probably going to see this and it's going to be stuck in a spinning circle. Basically what you have to do if that happens, don't worry, your device isn't bricked. You're just going to have to open up iTunes and um, remember that DFU mode that we did, hold the home button and power button. Instead of using Retsno to do that, you can have iTunes open and follow those same instructions and then basically start over. That's slide to unlock. And CD is here. It says preparing file system. CD will exit when completed. And let me just enter my Wi Fi. Okay, so now it's just gonna close, it's gonna organize everything. Your phone is jailbroken, untethered. As you can tell, see it respring. Um, if this was a tethered jailbreak, it would have just made you stuck on the black screen, but this is untethered. So it's a good jailbreak. Let me just show you that I am on 4.3.2. One second. Okay, it's general about. As you can tell, I am on 4.3.2. And it's jailbroken. Untethered. It'll ask you this, just click user and then click done. Hope you like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments. Maybe someone can help you out. Um, thank you for watching it. Please click the like button.